Hello everyone, it's your good old friend Euron, and uh, today I got something in the mail, and it came in this box here, which, funnily enough, they decided it was so important, they decided to fill the entire thing with packing peanuts. Very lovely, very lovely. I enjoy, I enjoy. Just, just, this is gonna, this is gonna, good. Move that to the side to make room for what's really important here, what I got today. Da 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 da! Beautiful, isn't it? Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 3! Yugi's World! I ordered this about like two months ago. I completely forgot about it and apparently got it in the mail today. It comes with the Seal of Ori Calcos, as you can see. Nice shiny holographic edition. Very lovely, very lovely. I'm decided, since a few of my friends... Stay there. Since a few of my friends decide to do things like this, where they open up things and... show the cards inside and whatnot, I decided to do that with this, because I know some of them were interested in getting this and yada yada. Let's just open the goddamn thing and look at the cards. Flick of the wrist. I'm sorry that I keep alternating into a British accent. I can't I can't do one of these videos without thinking of Ashens. Because I love that man. If you don't know Ashens, you should go look at him and subscribe if you like what he does. What he, what he, what he does, what, he, what you see him doing. What the? This is a very nice case, actually. This is very nice. Look at this. Ooh, this is opens up from the top, just like that. That's nice. Open the plastic in the back. It seems like it'll be nigh impossible, actually. Seems rather difficult to do this. Oh, unless I just ah, it actually flips up like that, so you can just reach in. You can, you, yeah, you can see that. I, had a, I have to keep looking at my monitor to make sure you can see, and you can just sort of. You can just sort of reach in, and then shake it down when it doesn't work reaching in, and you have your shiny seal of Oricalcos. Ooh, how beautiful and majestic it is. Alright, this comes with, uh, oh, that's a, that's a lot of packs. I wasn't, that's actually, this thing, that's eh, about five in this. Ooh, look at that dark necrophere. Ooh, shiny. Let's see what else is in here. Just open that up with my knife, no worries, no worries. Nothing got harmed, nobody got killed, except for this packaging. So, inside we have, right, Dark Necrophere, Guardian Hiatos, oh my. Oh, I, I see, I see, I see things that I think I'm gonna, Five-Headed Dragon, wow, hey. Look at that. Look at that. All right, and my first tokens, get token, yeah, limited edition token. And a ooh, a little Karibo toy. Look at him. Kuri kuri! They save the day all the time. Oh, look, and there's another one. He's my first token cards. I'm happy. I can finally duel properly without pretending to use little statues as tokens. All right, let's open up the first pack. See what we get. This is gonna be rather exciting. Oh, I wonder what old cards will knights title. That's the first one. I just spoiled it for you. Oh, spoiler warnings ahead. There's Knight's title. I have a really awkward setup here, if you couldn't tell, from my arm like bending every other way. Knight's title. Let me reposition. There you go. There you go. I moved the camera when I did that, so it was a bad idea to actually do this. Knight's title. Knight's... I can't do this. All right, Knight's title. Swift Gaia. Giant Soldier Stone. Big Eye. <laughs> These are really old. Mind Crush. That's nice. Prohibition, holy damn, that's secret rare shit right there. You can't you can't even see, but now you can. Is Magician's Circle. Ooh, ooh. The Yu-Gi-Oh! enthusiast are all ooing. The Creator, which I have a fancier one, but this one's first edition. So he might be worth more. Unless the other one itself is actually first edition, which then and magical hats! I'm getting lots of cards that I never had before. I am very pleased with this. I'm just gonna take these. I'm just gonna just gonna, just gonna put them together, just so I don't lose them. Let's open the second one then. I can't, I can't help being Ashens. I can't. I can't help doing voices. I don't know why. I already saw a ritual in here. This is gonna be good. We have Horace the Servant first. Horace the Servant. Black Luster Soldier, which is not as fancy as the one I have, but you know. A Toon Goblin Attack Force. All right, that's nice. We got Gravekeeper's Recruiter. Ooh. 
look how fancy he is. He's a monk of some sorts. Pot of cream. <laughs> look how fancy that shit is. It's all shiny and fucking secret rare and first edition. Yeah. Too bad it's banned. A shiny mystical shine ball. That's nice. It's, it lives up to its name for once. Mystical elf. Um, Mirage Knight. One is very nice. This is very nice. And Spellbinding Circle. A lot of old cards I've never had before that I'm now happy to have now. I should move this up a bit. So when I point at the camera and stuff, I love the seal of Oricalcos. Now, now I can steal your souls. Ah. That's probably hurting your eyes. I apologize. I'll save the middle one for last. Because it's in the middle. It's only right. It's, it's only right. I'm gonna save this box. This box is fucking baller. Let's open this up, and inside we have first off Silent Swordsman level five. All right, Silent Magician level eight. All right, Toon Goblin Attack Force again. They're all first edition, by the way. I don't know if I if I, if I said that before. It, 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 Swords of Revealing Light, nice and shiny, holographic, gold, good. This is nice. Change of Heart. I think this one's banned too still. Can't even use it. I got it for looks. It's beautiful. Solar Flare Dragon. He's nice. He's shiny. Goblin Fan. Uh, Horus, the Black Flame Dragon. Level 4. I should stop flipping these on the wrong sides. And Tricky Spell 4. I don't even know what this does. Um, let's read it. Send one face up the Tricky you control to the graveyard. Special summon Tricky Tokens. Which I can do now. I can do it. I'm happy. In defense position, you put a number of tokens, blah, 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 so it's just, let's just get rid of a monster, get tokens. Such fuzzy, get dizzy. Same. Shtick. Different day. Alright, next pack. I'm just gonna leave the garbage back there until I, until I decide to throw it all away into the incinerator. Uh, first up, I don't, I don't even think I've heard of this one. This one might have been in the show, though. I can't remember. Spell Shattering Arrow. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Giant Germ. Okay. Mystic Swordsman level 2. I can use the Swordsman's now. Alright. This is looking good. Black Illusion Ritual. I don't think I had this before. You know, I don't I don't think... I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I can't remember. Uh, Beckoning Light. I had this. I have this. I I have this. I know that. Um, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's... That's... I moved the chair by accident. That's good. And left... Lift arm, shiny as fuck, first edition is good. Malevolent Catastrophe. I don't know what does, but uh... Ooh, 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 gold sarcophagus. Gold sarcophagus, this is, this is good. That means now, if I take a card out from my deck, and my opponent has that same card in his deck, we both have to send it directly to the remove from play zone and can't use it. It's not what it does at all. And Feral Imp. No one cares about Feral Imp. I'm just gonna take these cards. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put them all in a nice little pile over here. That's good. And for the final pack... It's depressing that there's only five. I think there'd be six the way it was, but... No, and of course we do have some very nice doubles. For example, Swift Kai of the Fierce Knight. Again, it's good. Uh, <laughs> Joint Soldier of Stone. This is looking to be the same pack all over again. Uh, nope, it isn't, because now we have Dark Mirror Force. Mmm, delicious. Uh, next, after that, Summoner Monk. Ooh, he looks, he looks like he could go for about five dollars. After that, Exchange. Oh, hey. I already got this exact card from a video game. Isn't that, isn't that nice of them? Boganian. He's, he's happy. He's... He's just, he's just a bow gunner. He's happy to be here. He doesn't matter. Level up. Which I have. This is, this isn't yielding very good results. Only a few. Guardian Elma, which I think the Guardians... No, her sword thing was banned. Because it was deemed too powerful or some shit. I don't even care. And Silent Swordsman. Level 7. That's the last one. That's what he is. That's what he does. That's, that's nice. So all in all, I can make a deck with all of these, but... That'd be pretty useless. Now let's read what the Seal of Orichalcos does. It is indeed a field spell. 
All monsters you control gain 500 attack. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. While you control two or more face-up attack position monsters, your opponent cannot target your monsters with the lowest attack for an attack. It's a mouthful. When this card is activated, destroy all special summon monsters you control. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck. You can only activate the seal of our calculus once per duel. Once per duel? That's stupid! Well, at least once per turn, this thing can't be destroyed by card effects. You could get 500 attack, and then it can't be destroyed. So it's, it's, at least, you know, at least you can't steal people's souls with it anymore. That was a really big problem in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. You know, the, Yu -Gi the original release of it, where people just go running around willy-nilly just stealing other people's souls like that. It's not nice. It's not a good thing to do. Oh, shit, there's more! Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Lifting that cover would reveal more, and it is a very hard game mat, as it would appear. This is for professionals. This is this is for the avid Yu-Gi-Oh gamer. This is actually really nice, and it even has the seal of Orichalcos design on the back. Look at that. That looks that looks really cool. I enjoy that. I enjoy I enjoy. And on the other side, you know, you got your you got your big ass fucking Yugi, the Yu-Gi-Oh symbol. You got your monster card zone, you got your field card zone, your graveyard, your your deck, you got your uh, your extra deck, your spell and trap card zones, but still no remove from play zone, because it's supposed to go above the graveyard. That's rather troubling for the avid Yu-Gi-Oh player. Anyway, that's all there is to this, is this nice fancy box. The rest of this shit's going to go into the garbage. But now I have a nice new box to put my Yu-Gi-Oh cards in, so it's a plus. I'd recommend getting it indeed.